Hey Elisabeth, what did Hi, you Lars. learn about uh, machinery for continuous forestry that's more practical? Yeah, so when you come and you thin out a forest and you come with these cranes that yeah. might have a 10 meter long arm yeah. stretching in like this, yeah. then it only goes straight, right? Yeah. So it's really constrained yeah. what, which trees you can pick to yeah. take down. Yeah. And if you find one of these massive 60 centimeter plus trees yeah. that you would want to remove, yeah. then you can't do that if that's eight meters out because that weighs a lot, that tree, and your machine yeah. is going to tip over. Yes. Then you need a bigger machine. Yes. <laughs> and then, yes. So these machines are yeah. not as flexible yes. as, as you might... Uh, yes, unless you conceive an entirely new extraction are. machinery, yeah. as I said, with robotic swarm where the robots yeah. possibly cooperate in bringing the tree down and yeah. I've seen prototypes for this already in 2016 yeah. so that's the whole point yeah. like we don't have artificially intelligent swarms of robotic hybrid human in the loop operators to do continuous yeah. forestry and that's what will make it profitable. Because you also want this human decision of which trees exactly. are optimal to take out. Not just a human decision. Because this is important decisions, exactly. right? It's an 80 year time span before yes. it's mature. Yes, yes. So you want to pick the correct yes. trees, yes. Yes. yet also for economic reasons. And it might take slightly longer to make a good decision, but then you win in the long term. Yeah, absolutely. Right. What I meant is yes, humans should be involved in the decision or all of the human expertise should be involved. but we also have incredibly great mathematical models of tree growth yeah. for different species under different conditions. So one can actually use the mathematical models to actually find out which are the optimal trees to harvest when and how and where. And then that can be further fed into the human expert for confirming. And it could actually be a very, very scalable system that way. A feedback loop. Exactly. Man and machine. Yeah, it's called human in the loop AI assisted yeah. swarm robotic solutions.